How do you create professional YouTube videos? It's a question I got from one of my readers, uh, Karen. Great question, kind of a long story, but basically wrote, uh, I want to know what setup you use and want to look as professional as you so I'm, when I'm producing my videos, if I can give her some advice. So, Karen, great question. And it's something that I struggled with at the start. I hate spending money until I'm making money. And so with any new project that I'm getting into, I hate dropping cash on something until I know I'm gonna be able to make a return on it. So when I started my videos, if you go back on my channel, the video sucked. Uh, the content was pretty good, but the, the production quality was not great. It didn't look that professional. People still like looking at them though, and maybe some of you guys watching this will, will go back and look at some of the old videos. So I don't like spending a lot of money. Once you figured that out, then you have to say, how am I gonna get started with it? How I started was I used my first camera. So it was a camera that I already had. It was a digital camera. I recorded myself. It was on a, a shelf I had in my office or at my home and, and it would often shake. Um, so it wasn't great quality. I soon you know, started to make some money from what I was doing with the videos and I figured, okay, time to invest back into the company. And right now the setup I use is I have a, a Sony camcorder that I bought from Costco. I bought all the cameras that I tested. I went through five cameras over a period of a couple months because with Costco, you have a 90 day return policy. And so if I didn't like it, I could always take it back. One of the main reasons why I bought this camera was because it has a microphone jack. So I got um, people watching the video saying, we love your stuff, but the sound quality isn't that great. Can you, can you Im improve the sound quality? So I need to get a microphone to do that. So I have this little clip on mic, it's from Sony that kind of feeds under the shirt. I think it's 80 or 90 bucks. That hooks into the camera. I've got a tripod that, uh, that everything sits on so the camera doesn't shake anymore like it did in the early videos. And uh, I use my phone just to uh, see what questions I have that have come up and be able to answer them. So this stuff just pulled up the, I don't know if you can see that, the YouTube question that I got from, uh, from Karen. And that's my setup. Before I had, uh, I tested out having a different background, testing out different lighting. If you're just getting started, really I would recommend starting off with a, a, a decent camera, not something that's too expensive, so ideally something you already have, or borrow a friend's camera to get started. The microphone helps with, with audio, uh, just the quality. But to make it even better, think about the lighting. I used to uh, have all sorts of lights and a background and all that. Now I'm just in my office and it's really important I mean, I'm not a video guy, so I didn't know this. All the other video guys watching this probably saying, oh, that's common sense stuff. But hey, if you're just getting started, it's important to know. You want the light in front of you. So I'm facing the window. So the sun is hitting me and I have a solid background behind. You don't want any light behind you uh, and you don't want light coming at you from the side. If I stood like this, if I did my videos on the side, you'd see like a shadow on my face. Or if I did it on a different angle. Why don't I show you? Let's see, if I'm here, so this is the rest of my office. If I do it like this, the light's over here, you can see that there's light hitting me here and then it's, it's, it's shadowy here, it's dark, so you can't really see uh, my face as clearly. So you wanna be facing the sun or facing the light that you have in your location. So I'll set that back up and here we are again. So make sure you just pay attention to the light. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, it just helps make the video look better. Okay. In terms of uh, the production, I started everything myself. Again, I didn't like spending money till I'm making money. Uh, so I learned how to use Camtasia and Windows Movie Maker at the start. And now I've hired somebody uh, to help me with my videos. And basically I record the videos, I upload them to uh, Dropbox. She downloads them and she'll put the intro on it, put some music, put some effects on it, the closing, all that stuff that I was never really good at and she'll upload them to my YouTube channel and then I just have to go in and uh, change the names of the files and publish. So uh, that's been a really big help, but again, I didn't wanna do that until I knew I was committed to the videos. So hopefully that helps. I know it's, it's rough and it's scary and it's hard getting started with video. Uh, if you're not used to speaking in front of the camera, your first videos will probably suck and they take tons of takes. I remember taking maybe up to 70 takes on some of them and they still turn out not great. Uh, now it's usually one take. If I make a mistake, I, I just keep going unless the mistake is right at the beginning. Usually I just keep going and you get better, you get more confident, your message comes out more clearly and um, just start practicing. 
get out there. Don't be afraid. I know it's it's uh, it's tough and scary, but uh, it, it can really have a good impact for people who are coming to your site or wanting to learn more about you. And the real trick to get started is to get started and just keep improving and getting better. So thanks for the question, Karen. Good luck. Believe. Send me your first video when you, when you launch your first one. Leave it in the comments. I want to see it and maybe I'll give you some feedback on what you might be able to do better. For everybody watching, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up below. It makes me want to do more for you and I'd love to hear what you have to think if you leave a comment underneath. If you're just getting started up with, with video as well or if you have a question for your business, leave it in the comment section below. I love seeing those come in. I'll do a video response for you and uh, thank you guys. I'll see you soon.